So just to summarize, so nodules in children are much less frequent than in adults. A thyroid nodule in a child has a much greater risk for malignancy, and more often there's a genetic predisposition syndrome present, or it's a secondary nodule, such as after exposure to radiation. For thyroid cancer in children, there are more often lymph node and pulmonary metastasis and extrathyroidal extension. Children with uh, papillary thyroid cancer have an excellent uptake of radioiodine. And despite extensive disease, children usually have an excellent prognosis with uh, around a mortality of 2% versus 6 to 15% described in adult cohorts. In children, it's also important to realize that there can be a continued clinical response. So if you've treated a child with radioactive iodine, the terioglobulin, which can be used as a marker for thyroid cancer, can decline in the months and even in the year after uh, giving uh, radioiodine treatment. And also the late effects for radioactive iodine for a child may be different than for an adult. If you're 10 and you've had irradiation or you're 60 and you have irradiation, the late effects after 10 to 20 years, of course, may differ.